today. And getting back to that, Patrick, with temperatures dropping now into the 30s, most spots and only going to climb to about 40 for an afternoon high today. As we take a look at our conditions outside right now, we've dried out. We had a couple of showers through the evening and night, especially near the coastline. Those have moved further away, and so a clearing our area. I mean, tough to come by much sunshine for today. Best shot at seeing some sun will come this morning. I think skies will cloud back up through the afternoon. Here's our view from Providence right now, and it's good visibility. 37 degrees north northeast winds at about eight miles an hour. We're going to hang on to that northeast wind through the day, feeling like 31 right now. More roller coaster temperatures after that very mild day yesterday. We're back to cooler weather today. Another warm up tomorrow. Back to cooler weather Thursday. You get the picture. We do have some showers though on the way for uh, tonight. Mostly just rain showers. We're going to keep an eye on Northwest Rhode Island. Could see brief icing uh, later this evening. We're going to type that out for you. I think it'd be short lived as most of us will see rising temperatures into the 40s through the overnight hours. Tonight, though, and into this morning, we're waking up to the 30s. It's 37 in Providence, 34 in Smithfield, about 40 right now in Westerly, but we've fallen to 38 in New Bedford as well as Newport. Boston now at 35, add in a little wind, and it feels around 26 in Smithfield, 31 Providence in Newport, and the wind chill right now running at 30 New Bedford. Taking a look at the uh, satellite and the radar, you can see where those showers have pushed further away. Still cloudy skies. Now, these may try to clear out at least parts of our area through the early morning hours, but we are keeping an eye to this precipitation off to our south and west, and it's both rain and snow, and that's going to try to push into our area after dark today. So we're thinking around 5, 6 o'clock, we may start to see some light uh, sprinkles or flurries. Here we go with our future cast, and this starts us off at 9 this morning. And notice all the clouds around through the daytime, maybe some brief sunshine. By 3 o'clock this afternoon, skies are cloudy, still dry though. Watch these little rain showers that try to come through during the uh, late afternoon and evening hours. Again, maybe cold enough initially for some brief icing uh, north and west of 295, but a quick change over to just plain rain showers expected for all of us. The temperatures rise through the night. We wake up tomorrow morning in the 40s and we'll have another very mild day well into the 50s for afternoon highs on Wednesday. Take a look at those uh, future cast conditions for today, about 35 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning. Much cooler, but dry. North winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour, reaching a high today of about 40 in the afternoon, turning cloudy and cooler, maybe some late sprinkles or flurries. Northeast winds at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And overnight tonight, rain showers, temperatures fall to about 37 in the evening and then rise into the 40s. <clears throat> Excuse me, by dawn tomorrow morning with an east wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Seven day future cast. So notice those temperatures all over the place these next few days. 40 today, up to 56 on Wednesday. We're back to sunshine, but cooler weather on Thursday, a high near 43. For the weekend, I'm seeing signs of a few showers, maybe Friday night into Saturday with temperatures near 46. Most of Sunday looks dry, but there'll be another chance for showers Sunday evening and night into Monday. It does look warmer than average, though, heading into the upcoming week.